everybody, welcome to another week of Pilates Plus Physio. Thanks so much for joining me. It's another nice chilly May morning. So we're gonna start off just doing a little bit of rubbing up and down your legs. So starting with your thighs, maybe rub all the way down your thighs, right down the shins, maybe come up the sides, rub down over your buttocks, down the back of the thighs, down the calf, across your tummy, Give those muscles a good rub. Make sure your brain remembers where they are. Maybe rub up the outside of one arm, down the inside, up the inside, down the outside. Same on the other one. Up the outside, right up to the bottom of your neck maybe. Come down the inside, up the inside, down the outside. Maybe rub the palms together nice and briskly. Should have just woken everything up and then just uh, let the shoulders relax maybe take the arms out to the side just alternately lifts up in front so not too quick feel the bottom of your foot on the ground get your balance one knee up so think of a little puppet string going from your knee up to the roof so I'm just drawing that knee up in front of you alternate legs more. Great. Okay. Bring the arms down. Feet just about hip width apart. Stand nice and tall. Think about where your hip joint is. So it's, you know, top of the leg, that crease at the top of your leg. Just going to do a very small little hip and knee bend and back up. So your body stays upright. Think if your belly button is still pointing to the opposite wall. So you're not tipping forward. Your belly button doesn't start pointing to the floor. Even weight through both feet. Just drop down, really press into your feet. Think of straightening the hips as you come up. Little way down, press into your feet back up. So just a little hip release. Just going a couple more. Sore knees, you might only want to go down an inch or so going too far. Great, okay, a little bit of balancing. So just take a step to the side, stand on one leg. And take a step to the other side, stand on one leg. Step to the side, stand on one leg. Remember balance, the more you practice it, the better you get at it. Sideways, maybe make it slightly diagonal. So think about when you're walking, you know, obviously when you're walking, you're on one leg the whole time. So the better your balance is, the more efficient your walking becomes. Step to the side, on one leg. Step to the side, on one leg. Maybe back a little bit. Diagonally forward a little bit. Back again. Both feet down on the mat. And then take one leg forward, one leg back. We're gonna do just like a little lunge in standing. So you're starting one leg forward, one back, heel off on the back leg. Maybe bring the arms out to the side. Again, you're keeping your belly button pointing straight at the opposite wall. You're just dropping down a little bit and coming back up. So a bit like your curtsy. Imagine you're getting your OBE. You're looking straight at the queen's belly. <laughs> <laughs> You're not dipping your head down and looking at her feet. And go one more. Dropping down, back up. Good. Swap legs. Sore knees, again, you could just go a couple of inches. So it's getting the hip and the knee to bend. So you're dropping down, press into your foot, back up. Nice and slow. Obviously, the slower you do it, the longer that muscle has to work. Dropping down, coming back up, and again, dropping down, back up. Swap legs again. So one forward, one back, heel off the ground on the back leg, stand nice and tall. Float the arms, drop down. So watch that that knee isn't dipping inwards, it's staying 
out over your second toe. See all sorts of funny lunges going on in the gym, but this is where you want to be. So body staying upright. Front of the thigh and buttock muscles doing the work. Good. A few more on the other side. Let's see if we can do five. Arms out, dropping down and back up. And coming down and back up. And again, dropping down, back up. One more for luck. Great, fantastic. Okay, come down so that you're lying on your back on the mat. So, lying on your back, head just on that little rolled up towel or pillow if you're more comfortable like that, or if you're a bit stiff through your upper back and neck. Just think of everything sort of melting down into the mat. Breathe down into the tummy. So it's a nice diaphragmatic breathing. Think of letting everything just relax for a moment. And then just thinking about sort of where your pelvis is. So maybe just arch your back off the floor a little bit more and then flatten your back down a bit. And again, just arch away, flatten down. So you're not pushing your back into the floor, you're just getting that nice gentle rock. Think of sort of rolling over your sacrum, that bone just above your tailbone, so the very lowest part of your back, just rocking over that. Feet flat down on the ground. Lovely, okay, and just stop so you're sort of in the middle of that movement, so you're not jamming your back into the floor and you're not arching right away. So most people should have got a little bit of a hollow in their lower back. Keep the shoulders relaxed, slide one leg down the mat, toes up towards you, press out through the foot. Draw that leg back up, slide the other leg down. So your pelvis is staying level. Imagine you've got one of those or like a snooker triangle, you've got one ball in the middle of the triangle, that ball is staying completely still regardless of what you do with the legs. So the pelvis isn't rocking side to side, it's not rocking forward and back. Okay, uh, you could just, if your feet are sticking on the mat a bit, just roll the mat up underneath you a little bit, so you've got your feet on the floor. And you could slide both legs down together, toes up towards you, press out through the heels and come back up. And again, both legs down, push out through your heels, see if you can feel anything going on through the lower tummy like it's gently drawing in and just keep that drawn in feeling as you bring the legs back up. So toes up, push right out through the heels and come back up. Good, could add the arms. So both arms up towards the roof, just take both arms back over the top of your head and come back up and again, both arms back and back up. Okay, put the arms and legs together, still keeping just that normal little hollow in your lower back. Arms back, legs out, bring the arms up, legs back in. So arms back, slide the legs down, toes up towards you. Keep the tummy gently engaged, come back up. And again, both arms back, press out through the feet, and back up, and again. And just going one more. Lovely. Great. Okay, get the mat back underneath you if you've rolled it up. Pop both hands underneath your head. So you can sort of link your fingers together. Get your thumbs right in on the base of your neck or just underneath the skull. You could just sort of give that area a bit of a massage. Get your 
thumbs right in there, dig around. Often there's really tender little spots. People often hold a lot of tension in that area. So just giving that a bit of a rub. And then let your elbows drop right back towards the mat if they will. Bring them up to the ceiling, back towards the mat, opening right out through the chest there, and again up towards the ceiling, back towards the mat. Okay, keep the elbows back and wide. We're just doing a little curl up, tuck in the chin, curl your head and shoulders up, look down over the top of the knees, and release back down. And again, chin tucked in, curl up. Slide your ribs down front and release. This time maybe curl up, come down an inch or two, back up. Down about halfway, back up. Down about three quarters, all the way back up, nice and smooth, right down to the floor. So you're really getting that tummy muscle to shorten. It goes a little bit longer, you shorten it up again. Halfway down this time, come back up, three quarters of the way down, back up. Just watch you're not pulling on your head and neck right the way down. One more, curl all the way up, release halfway, back up, release three quarters, back up, right the way down. Good. Just let the neck really release, roll your head right over one way all the way back, right over the other way. Bring both knees up towards your chest. So one up, other one up, cross the ankles, maybe cross right over left this time. Just rock your knees towards your chest. Bit of knee rocking. Nice and gentle. Good, okay, uncross your legs. Both hands on your right knee. We're gonna do a single leg stretch press out through the left leg. So leg going up towards the ceiling is, easy, is easier, leg going more horizontal is a bit tougher. Bring that leg in, swap your hands over, push out through the other leg. So alternate legs. Got your back just slightly flattened into the mat now. You can tuck in the chin, curl your head and shoulders up if you want to make it a little bit more upper tummy as well. You point the toes or pull your toes up towards you. It's up to you, really. Just experiment a bit, see which feels, feels the best. Sore necks, you might not want to do the head lifting. Couple more. Lovely, okay. Both legs up, this time cross the left one over the top. Hang on to the knees, a little bit more gentle. Rocking, rocking. Okay, pop both feet down and turn over onto your side. Uh, we're going to do the clams. So you want the underneath arm right up above your head if you can. Hips and knees bent, heels about in line with your bottom, and then really, really roll forward. So get your elbow and forearm on the mat. I often see people in the clinic who've been doing their clams for years, allowing their whole body to roll back, and then you can really use a different muscle to the one you're actually aiming for. So you're really rolling forwards. Heels together, top knee up. See if you can keep the underneath leg fairly relaxed. Should be side of the buttock, side of the thigh doing the work. You could give that muscle a bit of a pat to wake it up. Nice and smooth. Okay. And then keep your knees stuck together. Take your foot up towards the ceiling. And then heels together, knee up. Knees together, foot up. Heels together, knee up. So just nice and smooth. One, then the other. Good, great. Take the 
the legs out straight. Make sure you can just see your feet. When you look down, look back to the front. Top hand now just nice and light on the mat. So your hips stacked on top of each other, shoulders on top of each other, side leg lift, point the toes, top leg up, foot up, press out through the heel. So think of drawing a line on the wall with your big toe and then you're rubbing that line out with your heel as you come down. So side of the buttock, side of the thigh doing the work. Everything's banging and clattering, it's blowing a gale outside. Nice May day, May weather. Lovely, okay. And then maybe just bend the knees up again, we'll do a front of the thigh stretch, grab your foot, ankle, whatever you can reach, trousers, pull your heel back. Keep the tummy gently drawing in so you're not pulling your pelvis into a sort of anterior tilt, forward tilt. You're keeping your back in that nice neutral position, just getting a stretch down the front of the thigh. Keep breathing, just normal, nice easy breathing. Okay, let that release and then maybe turn over onto the other side. So underneath arm right up if it goes, if it won't go up there you could bring your arm in front, head on the brick, hips and knees bent, really roll forwards again so get that elbow on the ground and forearm, keep them there. So often people allow everything to roll back, heels together, top knee up. Nice and smooth. Good view of all the cobwebs down here under the radiator. <laughs> Up on the ceiling. I don't know where they come from. So side of the buttocks doing the work. Just be conscious of the underneath leg. Just make sure you're not really pushing that down into the floor. And your foot is staying pretty relaxed. Okay, one more just like that. And then we'll go knees together, foot up, heels together, knee up. Knees together, foot up, heels together, knee up. And then take both legs out straight. Make sure you can see your feet. Top hand nice and light. Side leg lift, point the toes, top leg up, foot up, press out through the heel. So really lengthen through the leg. That's nice normal breathing. So as long as you make sure you're not holding your breath, that's the most important thing to avoid doing. Keep breathing in and out. Great, okay. And then bend both legs up. Grab your foot, ankle, trousers on the top leg. Pull your heel to your buttock. Take the knee back. Keep the tummy gently drawing in. So just nice and nice front of the thigh, front of the hip stretch. Okie doke, let that release. Uh, come over so that you're lying on your tummy. So, down on your stomach, forehead resting on your hands. Just let the legs relax. Just alternate knee bending. So bend up one leg and then the other one. Nice and smooth. So 
So you could change that into three little kicks. So just going one leg at a time now, kick up with your toes pointed, kick with your foot flexed, kick with it pointed and down. So you kick with it pointed, kick with it flexed, kick with it pointed and down. So it's point, flex, point and down. Point, flex, point. So imagine you've got a sort of washing up bowl or something full of water sitting on your bottom. So the whole pelvis doesn't rock from side to side. Point, flex, point and down. You can either stay down flat with this one or you could prop up on your elbows. So if you're up on your elbows, big gap between your shoulders and your ears, tummy pulled up away from the mat. Point, flex, point and down. If your back's a bit irritable, I'd probably stay down flat. So point, flex, point and down. Back of the neck, really nice and long. Keep that feeling of sort of pushing your elbows into the mat. So shoulder blades staying down away from your ears. Point, flex, point and down. Good, okay. Stay up in that sort of slight sphinx-like position. Gently draw your tummy away from the mat. Turn your head to the right as far as you can. Look over your right shoulder. All the way back round. Look over the left. And again, turning all the way to the right. And back. All the way to the left. And back. And then come down. Forehead on the mat. And our elbows bent. Palms down flat on the floor. We're just going to do a little, like, I think it's called a swan dive. So slide your shoulders away from your ears. Peel your chest up away from the mat. Hold there. And down. Nice one if you're getting a little bit hunched in your upper back. And again, shoulders down. Peel your chest away from the floor. Keep looking at the mat. So back of the neck is staying long. The muscles that are kind of working are sort of between the shoulder blades. Just coming up and releasing. And again, shoulders down, peel up away from the floor. And down. And again, shoulders down, just coming up. Good, good. Okay, come up onto hands and knees. Knees nice and wide, big toes together. Bottom right back to your heels. Just give things a bit of a stretch. Think about letting your hips release a bit. Make your tailbone sink right down. Great. And come back up to hands and knees. Tuck the knees in. Hands on the floor underneath the shoulders, really push away from your hands, chin tucking in, just a little bit of arching and flattening. So tuck your chin in, turn your back into a little humpback bridge. Draw a line with your nose, let your back drop down. And again, arching right up, head dropping down. Looking forward, let your back drop. to your back a moment. So lying on your back, knees bent, a little bit of a hollow through your lower back. We're just doing a bleak curl up. If you don't want to do any more lifting your head, you could bring the knees together and do a knee roll from side to side. Otherwise, hands behind your head, knees bent, feet flat, draw in the lower tummy and up and across. Front of your shoulder towards the opposite hip and release down. And the other side, up and across and release down. Could make that harder by doing it with your feet off the ground. So then you want to flatten your back into the mat, fold one leg up, other one up. So you've got your legs sort of up in a tabletop position, like you've got your legs resting on a dining room chair. Up and across, push out through one leg. 
release down. Up and across, push out through the other leg again. Point the toes or foot up towards you, up to you. Whichever one you feel gets the tummy engaging most really. Normal breathing. And just one more. Keep the knees up, ankles crossed, hang on to the knees. Maybe this time just do a little rock from side to side. And you could take your nose in a little circle as well if you can. And circle the nose the other way. Maybe turn the knees into a little circle. Either turn onto your side, come up sitting or hold behind the thigh, tuck in the chin and gently roll up to my side and come up. Uh, you might want to sit yourself up on your brick. Okay, so sit up nice and tall, think of that halo above the top of your head. Just do a hamstring stretch in sitting. I'm fairly useless at it, so it's probably why we don't do it very often. Some people are really good at it. So, one leg out straight, tuck the other foot in either beside your knee or alongside your thigh, whatever's comfortable. Sit right up tall and you're thinking of bringing your tummy or your chest towards your thigh rather than your head. So your head is staying in line with the rest of your back and you're folding at the hip. Toes up towards you maybe, get a bit more stretch in the calf. Go easy with this if you've got sciatic pain, it's quite a sciatic nerve stretch as well. Drop the shoulders, if it's burny, pins and needles down your leg, then come off it. Okay, let that release, swap legs. So one leg out straight, tuck the other one in somewhere where it feels comfortable, toes up towards you. Maybe big breath in as you exhale. Think of bringing your tummy or your chest towards your thigh, not your head. Gosh, really stiff. Some people get their head right down towards their foot. Next time you breathe out, see if you can just ease into that a little bit more. Good, uncurl back up, soles of the feet together now. Sit right up on your sitting bones, lengthen through the waist, halo above your head. It's another, another good session ticked off. Exercise for the day. Remember walking is one of the best other exercises that you can possibly do. Half an hour out in the fresh air. Nice and brisk, just gets that rhythmic movement, gets the heart rate up, gets the lungs working, gets all your joints and muscles moving. So really important to keep walking. Let the knees drop. Okay, come slowly back up into standing. Stand nice and tall. Maybe just gently shrug your shoulders up and let them drop and another one slide up and let them release. Thanks so much for joining me and hope to see you again very soon. Bye bye.